So you want to remove the problem and then you want to become the problem by giving the patient the steroid. Why? Why do you do it? Because you're saying the patient's got too much steroid and you see the adrenal tumor, you're like this is the one that's producing too much, so let me remove it. I removed it out. And then you want to put the patient on steroid to make the problem happen again. Why? Because imagine if this adrenal tumor, if this adrenal gland is producing way too much of cortisol, is that giving negative feedback to your ACTH? Which means your ACTH will be very low for a long time. If the ACTH has been very low for such a long time, was this adrenal gland ever stimulated? It wasn't. And therefore this adrenal gland has been atrophied and not producing any cortisol. Now, you had one hyperfunctioning, but ACTH not being produced, and this adrenal gland not producing any cortisol. So once you remove it, what do you do? You've completely deprived this patient of cortisol. And can you live without cortisol? No, you can't. So immediately the patient will go into adrenal insufficiency. So the moment you remove your adrenal tumor, you must put the patient on cortisol, okay? You have to put them on some form of steroid until the axis takes over and this adrenal gland recovers.